Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Joren, or Triplus as I like to make myself known online. And today is the first product on my channel that I actually received from a company who asked me to review their product. So I'm very glad that Zemi Smart wanted to send me this Zigbee RGB uh, light strip controller or LED strip controller. So I will be starting by unboxing this uh, LED controller. I did just finish recording a video for this, but my external mic disconnected unfortunately, so I'm going to have to redo this and there are some shortcuts that I'm taking, but in the end things will be rather clear on, on what, what is required. So if you open up the box, yeah, I close it up quite well again apparently, you see the Zigbee light strip controller. It has a 20, 12 to 24 volts and, and max 15 amps input and the output is yeah as, as you can see here it will be a well a lot of the led strips will be able to be supported i have a five meter led strip i'm using rgb so only three of the channels will be used i assume i'm not fully sure on on, on how things are calculated but again i will be only using rgb because the controller does support the difference between RGB and RGBW. Now this feature is not, or at least I couldn't find the documentation on this feature, but I do have an RGB strip and I have had it connected for a while. So it has been working fine with the small exception that the white seems a little bit blue to me. It could also be the quality of the LED strip that I have, because again, it's, it's not a very expensive flat strip that I got. So on this side, you also have the input, so your 12 volts adapter, or you just do it via the two cables, a reset button. Again, the reset is not documented in a little manual that is included. There is some note of the, of a reset functionality, and they say to look on the SmartThings community website. I have looked around and honestly, I couldn't find a lot out there. I'm also not familiar with SmartThings at all, so that could be a reason. Then you have your outputs, so you have your RGB, so uh, red, green, blue, your white in case you're using RGBW, and your V+, which should also be connected to your V+, of your LED strip. Now there's not a lot more to say about this little device. It's a box like any other LED controller. I would say that this feature here is quite unique, especially considering the price of this little thing allowing you to switch between RGB and RGBW. But on the other hand, I don't have two different LED strips to test this with, so I cannot say for sure how well this is working. But technically speaking, this sounds like a very cool feature. So what I have done as well, I have bought this little LED strip con connector because my LED strip came with like the, the male side of, of this thing. So I did connect the blue to blue, green to green, red to red, and then the black one to the V plus connector. So let me do that once again. It's the third time that I'm actually doing this. So as you can see, I have the cable connected. So we have blue to blue, green to green, red to red, and black to black, which means that we can just plug this in into our LED strip. And then let's see how this little LED strip controller works okay so once everything was wired up and and again this will be a small clip that is over like overlaying the the, the, the current video uh, it was very straightforward to connect this to my decons hub the reason why is my assumption is that this led controller is hue like it works with hue or philips hue which also means that it has very standardized controls and Decons is also able to basically take this up without an issue. So once the Decons hub took this, took this LED strip up, I was able to, well, as, as Home Assistant is working, easily connect this to Home Assistant. That means that this LED strip is, is fully working as expected. When I said earlier in the video that white was not really working as expected, it actually is, but I think the white is just a very um, cool white, which means that 
yeah, it, it looks very blue or it has a very blue tint to it. But as you can see on my screen right now, this is the Home Assistant controller. It is coming from Decons. And as you can see, the, the colors are working very well. I have this, like, again, the, the, the LED strip is not really part of the review, but at least it gives you an idea how well it's working, how responsive it is. So we have the, the different colors that are working. Like this is blue and this is white. As you can see, there is a difference between the two. So I think this is in fact white, but it's just giving off a little bit of a blue tint. So my assumption is that it is just the LED strip, which of which the LEDs are not, I, I guess not the highest uh, quality of, of, uh, of LEDs. So that, that's all fine. Back to the controller, which is the main focus of this video. I think for the price, if I'm not mistaken, it's depending on if you get it on on, uh, on discount or not. It, it is cheaper than the, the Gladepto controller. Um, it has the advantage that it can support both RGB and RGBW according to what I saw on the device itself. And it is, well, it, it is plain simple to, to work with. So I don't have any issues with it. It's, it's it, it's working the exact same as any other RGB LED controller that I've seen, that I've touched, that I've used. So my recommendation would be just look at which one is the cheapest. Maybe the advantage of using this Zemi Smart controller is that if you plan on switching between RGB and RGBW controllers, well, you have the option now because I know the, the Gladepto ones, you need to buy a separate one for either RGB, RGBW or RGBWW. This one you have the option, it is working fine, it works with my assumption Philips Hue, it also works with Decons, which makes it work with Home Assistant, so it's the perfect LED strip to, to get things working. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, again I want to thank Semi Smart for sending me this, I do have another product from them that I also do want to review in the very near future. Thanks for watching everybody and I hope to see you again in the next one, bye!